Oh, wow. Okay, guys. So, here we are. I've had an immense struggle getting all of this to work. Um, this is now the third attempt. L let me let me show you. If, if you're trying to ever uh, stream this game, there's one vital thing you need to change go to your options i usually don't start with this but i'm going to start with it right now because i'm actually i'm just with my hands in my head i'm like okay what the fuck's going on so basically i don't need to change anything into the graphical options i can just leave it the way it is but if you go to advanced there is a limited frame rate you can see that up there in the corner, there the green text, it tells you that we are currently running at 60 FPS. It's more than enough, you know, you don't see anything. You can go turn this off. This was off with me. And it was getting my GPU up to a hundred percent. Just lagging out my entire computer. It was absolutely annoying. Uh, I could right now my gpu is currently while streaming set up to 37 percent which personally i, I really appreciate <laughs> i really appreciate so yeah i'm happy about that so if you ever want to stream this or whatever limit you if you want to remove noises from your computer because your graphics card is just begging for power uh, lower the FPS. Turn off the turn. To just just make sure you cap it at a 120. Uh, the reason I don't is I don't. I, I just want to test this out. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully everything is 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 fine now. Uh, I don't have this. Uh, all of this is just the settings that I'm currently using. I could just move this upwards if I want. I can move this like over here, like the TXAA times four. I, I I don't know if that is actually a thing for me, I, I, you know, because currently I'm just watching my stats. It goes to 37. It's good. Uh, currently my uh, my OBS is on the X265 instead of the graphics card. All of that I changed just to be able to play this game. I've never done. I've never tried so hard for a game to actually work now don't worry about this we will turn that off uh, while i have the rest on hopefully my uh, my chat is going on let me just make sure that everything is set perfectly yeah i don't see any lag finally finally guys to boldly go where we've all been like before maybe I, I don't know how you guys feel so we have different options and in most of these yes this will give you a Klingon this will give you the the weird ass costumes from Discovery and the Dominion is something else apparently it's it's not part of like the the others like at least with the with Discovery and Starfleet, it's about the same. We're going for Starfleet, because why the hell wouldn't we? Just go. And, um... I've been told that I'm not really a Vulcan. I, I've, I've made a Vulcan character before, and I'm not really a... a um, this squishy, squishy guy. And definitely not a Ferengi. Apparently, I'm more like a Packlet. I'm not going for that one. Could go with a trill. You know, no, we'll go with Vulcan, whatever. Uh, we're going to be playing as uh, as our male counterpart because I'm, I'm pretty much male. I, I orientate myself as male as well. And um, there we go. We're going to be, be it an engineering guy. Now, this is all just a redo. This is going to be a, a much... How do I say it? The stream is not going to last very long. And unfortunately, because I've spent the last two and a half hours just fixing my issues. And I've decided to go with uh, some of that hair-ish. What I feel like is more Vulcan-ish. And we're definitely not Vulcans. Like, I, my reactions, my behavior has been very un-Vulcan-like. Which is fine. I don't want to go too far into this. Eventually, we might go for... But not right now. <laughs> I, I just don't care enough. I just, I, I'm sorry. 
We can randomize our face. I, I got a massive jawline. I think it's perfect. Uh, my chin, well, that's fine. Uniform, it's f actually no. My body is there's there's an issue with that. I ain't that tall. I I not, I'm not that tiny either. I'm I'm, uh, I'm 174. Yeah, I'm I'm a small guy, and my thought is going to be thoughtful because we're Vulcan. I'm going to be trying to behave a bit more as a Vulcan. We'll see if it works or not. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. So yeah. Uh, guys, before we get going, this is going to be on YouTube as well. We are going to be forming a fleet or a, a clan or whatever it's called uh, with the Discord guys. So if you are wanting to be part of a group, uh, join us on Discord, get the MMO role and uh, yeah, have fun. You know, come come play with us, have fun with us. Uh, let's go. Continue next. Uh, luckily, we don't have this. This was mandatory at, uh, at some stage when I was actually playing it, which is a very, very long time ago. And two hours ago, but, you know, I actually played it a long time ago. Uh, the Sutherland, the Caviar, the Basu, no, I can't pronounce that. No. The Kenmare, the Kenmare, no, the Lara. Lara. You is a L Brabant. Yeah. There you go, Brabant. Sure, why not? I'm actually from Northern Brabant. That's cool, I like it. Okay, let's engage. So hopefully, hopefully, I get Faith back. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. And 21 years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, my life, all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Today, Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. The Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, let's press continue over here. Well, we're going to be moving over here. There's one thing I need to check, um, which I, I kind of think that is, it's just not so important for you, but it's really for me <laughs> to see how what's going on. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. I'm, I'm grateful. It, it's now finally stable. Uh, there were actually a few people on Discord that actually tried to assist me. Thank you so much to, uh, to Captain Kirk. I, I, he spent a long time with me trying to get my FPS issues under control. Now, for those of you who don't know how to get the FPS standard, you do one of those. Uh, let me move my camera out of the way. 
it's probably locked let's see yeah i usually lock my camera sorry for okay let's let's move you over here and then with you i mean me so you do this this weird stripe show uh fps it's already above here like you can actually see show fps and then it's either going to be with one you get it with zero it's gone so every now and then when i think things are wrong i will have to change that now let me get my my camera back in position somewhere just outside of the border is fine there we go and lock that in and we can finally get playing finally um so we have the game at maximum it looks good we might have some fps issues at some point you know but we're not going to be bothered by it let's just Yeah, yeah, that's great. So, uh, I'll try to get through this tutorial bit as soon as possible. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. Ah, yes. How could I? Uh, you've reminded me every day for the past month. Uh, did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Okay, well, let's continue. Uh, which shift you run? Let's get over here. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I've not received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Ah, let's go for her. Uh, Fish-like characters. Here's my Vulcan counterpart. Greetings. Greetings to you as well, as I'd said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Ah, getting it for a Vulcan, 12.8%. That, that's pretty something. Usually Vulcans do tend to be very, very knowledgeable. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Yeah, to you as well. Your mini-map shows you where your objectives are. Let's run. An arrow will appear on the <laughs> Great. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training crews, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Okay, they're tripping people up. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, whatever, mate. Whatever. Yeah, it's been such a long time since I've played it. I think I've played this. Oh, no, that's not true. I've played a character, I'm thinking, three years ago. Uh, but I, I didn't get past, like, one or two missions. Yeah, it was fine. Uh, but I have reached endgame at some point. Uh, and I was in a clan or a fleet. They were very nice, but I don't appreciate... What the hell do you think you're doing? Why would you... You, an NPC? Like, are you kidding me? Is someone else just walking over the tables here? Did they add this later? Like, the, the, the pathfinding is not really... Who are you talking to? You okay there? Okay, interesting. So it wasn't... It was Zero. Okay, let's talk to Fur. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Um, is this where I get my training course assignment? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Da daily fix. Why? She is loving those tables. Let's see. 
Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Okay. Uh, is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. Okay. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. Like, everyone else is walking on, on top of the tables. Can I do the same thing? Can I glitch through this as well? I, I need to know. I can, if I just crouch. No, no, it's reserved for NPCs only. That's fine. That's a, I, I feel, you know, a bit sad about it, but it is what it is. Let's go ring a bell. Come. Wow. Mean. Oh, Captain. Captain me, Captain. Cadet. You asked to see me, sir. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. I ain't the tactical officer, sir. I concentrate on courses for my career tracks. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Oh, did you see senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Is, is he like a Kardashian Vulcan mixture? Your tactical officer, who's that? Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Uh, she Still, told me what it is. I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. Ah, uh, continue. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Aye, sir. Okay, we'll just go there. Let's run. Let's run. There you go. I got the tactical officer spot. Just what I wanted. Good for Where'd you. you. Uh, Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Mr. Extra Credit. I'm Everyone Vulcan, I don't care about that. Captain that. Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Okay, now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set I it up. Slate away. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Okay. But apparently he needs a lot of replenishments for his ships. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? Nope. I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. Okay. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight! As long as I win, I'm full. Don't, don't make me lose. No. Setting up the training program now. I don't need I advice. I need a phaser. Your lucky holodeck. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Let's go. Press the V key to scan the area. Your tricord. Uh. She said the B key, right? Or the P key. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go! I don't need that button. Let's get this phaser over here. Get a pistol. Uh, you can change that with the Z button. Will do. Begin program. In combat, right click on a target to fire your weapon. They ain't really aiming the best way, do they? Yeah, they had some issues, apparently. They, uh... Okay, that's easy enough. Nothing to loot. Bloody shame. 
Exit simulation. Well done, cadet. You're not gonna break the academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Okay, thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Our first officer, sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. I agree. So thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. Talk to the cadets. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the captain sees greatness in me. That's not really a Vulcan. I think you should refer to me as sir. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. May I get you a rack to Gino, sir? Haha, <laughs> very funny. I mean, very funny, cadet. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. He's actually walking away. That's that's that's, that's I, I would have assumed that they would, you know, teleport. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's go. And uh, no time to waste. No time to waste. Well, I see nothing to actually. Nothing All is lagging, and I love it. By the bar. I know Vulcans don't get nervous, but the rest of us do. And this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's have this. Uh, this this fine toast, guys. Are you kidding me? I have to go. I do have to really have to make her. You got to be kidding me. She wants to finish her sentence. All the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I know Vulcans don't get nervous, but the rest of us do, and this is our first real assignment. So I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming, something... Very Vulcan-like? Okay. Just don't scare anyone. Okay. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. <laughs> no pressure. Ah, it doesn't, doesn't... I'll meet you over. Yeah, continue, go. I love how I stand, you know, with the, uh, the arms behind his back. That's really cool. All right. Lead a toast. Begin your speech. Ah. Uh, have you, uh, having been one of your classmates in the past four years, I have ample opportunities to study your reactions in many different situations. As your first officer, it is logical that I use this information to best instruct you in how to carry out your orders. We will operate efficiently and effectively ask me no more of you than i ask of myself oh, yay let's get the hell out of here i ain't no i'm no party i'm no anti party let's go are you ready to head to the ship let's go forget the rest you only need me Feels a lot smoother now. Last time it was just stuttering all over the place. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Well, the senior officers always come late. But we still strike all of the credit. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. Yeah, see you there. Looks cool. I like it. I do. I actually like it. Lieutenant. 
Yes, acting, uh, acting first officer. I have your record right here, sir. It's Welcome a bit of smirk. Ah, oh, here we go again. One of those new guys. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Great. Let's continue. Let's get to the bridge. I love the Boar Queen pictures in those loading screens. It's really fast, actually. I'm impressed. Captain me, Captain. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Yes, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. Okay, let's continue. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Okay. Then disable the tractor moorings. Yeah, uh, uh, we'll do. Okay, so get clearance. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Well done. Very good, number one. And floors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. I love that they listen. Very it's not good, scripted at all. It's just purely how I am as a person. Uh, Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. No chairs. Yeah, it's very... I, I'll get some chairs in here, dude. Some people will sit here for, stand here for eight hours, I guess. Love the icon, though. It's a really good icon. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Ah, uh, Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify... Speci uh, specify trusters only... When in the vicinity of a space dock. Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Oh, I'm Maximum such a good listener. Okay, let's go. Let's go sit on the chair. Yeah. It's made for my ass. Really good. <laughs> oh, I kind of like the Miranda class. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Aye. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Is, isn't Vulcan destroyed? Oh no, it's uh, it's Romulus that was destroyed. Vulcan was only destroyed in one of those. Um... Isn't it that that alternate reality Star Star Trek film, which I quite like, and actually they're making and apparently they're going to be making a fourth Captain. one. I am picking up a distress call from the SS Break Even. The Break Audio Even. Only. He will break in half perfectly. Bro. Let them know we're on our way. Hey, Bad Empire, welcome, man. Course. How are you doing? Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. That's a trap. Are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrel. Number one, let's discuss the situation. New. Actually, it's been a few years since I've played uh, last time. And I had to look, hook up my, my game you to heard Steam the as well. One? What do you think we should do? Ah, is this a test, sir? Part of the training course? Absolutely not. I love We're it. We're the closest ship to the break even. So, new tune. So, it's our duty to assist. Okay, it's strange that the transmissions was audio only. A warp core immersion would be... Wouldn't affect... Com yeah, it's Good. a trap. What do you advise? That's a bit overkill. Yeah, I, I agree with the shields up. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. I agree. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, this get guy down knows to the transport it. He, he's actually he's really a good captain. I think he will still die, but okay. To sit, right click on your chair. I, I don't need to sit anymore. Let's go. But yeah, it's been a few a few years since I actually played. Uh, and, and apparently the game has changed significantly. Like new, uh, some of the arcs just uh, changing and all. The one problem I had was FPS issues. Apparently no audio. I'm getting some weird readings. Yes. Uh, 
I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. But we have shields raised. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hang on! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS Chalk. Now he dies. <clears throat> That's nice. Four years wasted. Why don't they um, speak whatever he's trying to say? Doc, security is reporting disruptor fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. Well, I'll be damned. Even though we got Have shields the risen. Codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find. We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. I sir. So, um, tell me, uh, uh, Bad Empire, just received PC from account 2012 a few months ago. Have to redo the whole story arc again. Yeah, I have, but there's one thing, if you, if you, if you have some issues, FPS related, the one thing that I can tell you in advance, just cap your limited frame rate, because it's not capped anymore, and it will absolutely, my, my, my GPU was running at 100% and just lagging out my entire computer. So, yeah, that's the only thing I can give you. Also, uh, if you are looking for a group to play with, uh, me and the Discord are going to be uh, making a fleet shortly-ish. Uh, we're hoping to do it this week if we have time to uh, get together. So, hey, if you're looking for a few that actually have been playing for a while, and that is not me, <laughs> they're on the Discord. Just make sure you, if you join, to uh, request the MMO role and we'll give it to you. Let's go. Let's get ourselves a sniper rifle because that's very, very Federation like. Go to the armory locker in this room and but have fun, you know? That, that's the most important thing. Get that rifle. Okay, there we go. Did it not auto equip? See, that's interesting. Find team. Can I do the friends now? Add friend? I think we need uh, something else for that. Well, let's take a look if I can add people from my Discord now. Um, might as well have done that. Uh, let's see, Discord there. Which is... Where's those names? There you go, copy that. Okay, so we're still too early into the game to actually add friends. That is a bit of a shame. Oh well, it is what it is. Let's lower this down. I'm in more fleets than I can. No, no, no worries, man. Just, uh... We eight, you got eight tunes. Jeez. That, that, that's something. Let's, uh, let's equip this. Get that sniper rifle, man. Oh, we'll be sniping. Let's get holster it out. Let's go. Oh, he got... Oh, wow, that is not... Why did you not take a weapon? Come on, just... Sh shoot at will. So how do you deal with the uh, the end game? How do you deal with the... Um, because apparently it's a bit of a grind. Ooh, it sucks to be you, brother. And to the vacuum of space you go. Okay, well that's close. That's nice. Uh, apparently there's a bit of a yellow border. You can do extra to by um, hello? Okay, let's go. F. We got a hypo spray. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you. Bye. Let's heal this poor ass cadet. You know, four years. Uh, you're grinding as a Klingon at the moment for recruit. Cool. Okay, cool. I've, I've, um, we were discussing, discussing like, well, what to start, and overall, we lean towards the Federation. Some of them actually have a Klingon character. Uh, repel clean on border, 70% optional heal transporter cadet. So we didn't have to do it, but I still did. 
such a friendly guy. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Okay, we'll just go back. We'll probably have to tell... Oh, can, can I heal you? You're kind of greenish. But uh, is the Klingon... Uh, what I've been told is that the Klingon is a bit... Uh, oh, wait. There's a door over there. Maybe I have to talk to him. Oh, there we go. You see, sometimes I overthink things. Come on. But is it fun playing as a Klingon? Keep pressing the wrong button. I hope you are a bit stronger than these guys. Two Federation, two Romulan, one Klingon, one gem. Uh, did, is that the Gemini? Is that from the um, Dominion? Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. Okay, so I can improve the ship's structural fields, and I will try my best to get those terms right. Because I, I noticed the, uh, the the Dominion was in there, so bring, does it actually bring a full uh, a full story to it? Like I can't wait until you can place the Borg. It will be very short-sighted, but still. Back, back down. Hello. Let's go, guys. Here we go. I love that they're just so static. Apparently with X. Oh yeah, I should have done that. Breach the door. I should read more. I'm just way too excited to get it. I, I don't fully enjoy the... Um, how do you call it? Uh, the ground, ground battles. Because it's pretty much like button bashing. Look at you being still alive. And you as well. It's incredible. So you got one of those, how do you call them, like tier 6 ships as well? Okay, I think we need to move upwards then. Oh no, there it is. The fall damage is not too bad. Who the hell are you? We've got injured up here, and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I saw. Back on the bridge. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Way to go. Don't mind either, but I keep hitting the chat um, button. Yeah, uh, okay. The chat button. Is there a specific chat button? Is that tap? What? Is it control? Maybe like space? No. Oh, look at that. No, anom uh, no anomalies. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's the one I should do. I should scan a lot more. Uh oh. Captain me, Captain! No! They teleported me, Captain, out! Bastards, give back me, Captain. I used way too many hyper sprays. Well, she's still alive. Let's go, uh. Ah, you poor Vulcan. 
Okay, let's uh, revive my crew. Means that I'm a captain now. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. Yeah, <laughs> that is annoying. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain, and then destroy your ship. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Captain? Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? I like that guy. Very well. Never surrender. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders. Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire. That, that, that's a nasty gut shot. Come. Full spread. Proud. Oh, there's no need to say that, mate. <laughs> there's no need to say that. I don't know you. And I'm very thoughtful, I'm like... We hey, have that, target lock, Captain. That, that, fucking hell, fire! Oh, such a shame. It's such a fine-looking ship. Direct hit! Casualties on all decks! Shields! Shields! Fire all weapons! Weapons and shields are offline! Ah, close and begin repairs! <sighs> Sucks to be clean on right We've now. We've lost their signal. What now? Let's get the hell out. Okay, well we actually did so. Let us uh let's speak to this uh do we need to heal anyone? Are you okay? Now let's talk to her. But yeah, that's it seems very annoying if you if you have that. I'm I'm not sure how to activate my chat window yet, I've, other than pressing enter. We we survived. But the captain did not. Captain Taggart knew what would happen, and he gave the order anyway ultimate sacrifice one that we all might be called to make some ah there's the he romulan you republican all we can horse. do now is survive welcome man how are you doing and remember him yeah whatever let's continue ah hello mr cherkov <laughs> uh. Oh, by the way, the Chekhov, that is so sad. You know, the uh, the one in the in the so-called other films, the, uh, he, uh, he got between himself, uh, the house and the car. His own car. Oh. That rolled backwards. And he, he died. It's not the old one. It's not from uh, from the first generation, but it's, it's uh, from the... Uh, what should we call it? Like the third generation instead of the second one, where the uh, I believe that Cumberbatch plays the, uh, the the villain at some of those films. Ah, uh, well, good films. I like them. I like I like visual aspects a lot. Okay, let's uh, let's sit in the captain's seat. So, how are you doing, Mr. Romulan Republican Force? I'm going to just call him Mr. Romulan, if you mind. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind. There's a patch going on. We got a... Uh, we got a full spread torpedo, apparently. Let's just add that down here. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage. But some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Jesus. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain. But something is jamming all frequencies. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. 
I wish I was. I had to. So I, I wish I had so much money as him. That would be cool. I, but that didn't work out. <laughs> okay, let's keep She's trying. She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're so, in rough what's shape. What's the uh, shortcut for these? Oh, there we go. Pushing one. Damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get back online. Fire all torpedoes. Hailing the break even now, Captain. Okay, okay. Well, this is awkward. You're angry. I can Quark! see that. <laughs> Quark! Before this gets too carried away, hear me out. I had to send that distress signal. My options were limited while a Klingon was pointing a disruptor at my head. <sighs> I love seeing Quark in him, man. I, I, I personally, like, I, I. I I was never able to actually watch the the first generation, like uh, the Star Trek original series. Or I've watched uh, the next generation, DS9, Voyager, Discovery and Picard. I even watched uh, Bridge Cruise or something like that it's on, on, on Amazon or something. Which is sometimes funny. Uh, no, I like that. Yeah, Quark is Deep Space Nine. I love Deep Space Nine for me has the best story. The next generation is most iconic, but I also, my wife enjoys Voyager the most. So yeah, yeah, we kind of like it, so here we go. The Klingons were thorough. They even damaged my warp drive to make things look convincing. I'll never make it to safety on impulse. Nah, I see what I can you do. Can lend me a hand here? Sure. I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. <laughs> around. <laughs> Okay, press Q to decrease E and Q. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, 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 whatever. Can I not use mouse control? Okay. Uh, 50 on everything. So how do I start shooting again? Wow, it has been age. Oh, look at that! That is so no, cool. Full stop. Me too, I man. Me too. Sensor, it it was my my father who was always watching. Uh, target and press space. Okay, good to know. Thank you so much, man. Scan, scan the break even. See if they actually broke even. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Well, we just, we're just going to give them to him. He's a Ferengi. He should know the value of them. <laughs> and then we're just giving them away. Ah, thank you, Levity. Uh, Levity City Gaming. Hello there. Oh, I love City Gaming. Let's talk to the first officer. Well, looks like we're on our own. Least she immediately changed you. stripes. Yes. She had four of them in About the intro. That ship full of Klingons? Okay, let's go. Almost done, Captain. Level two diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Did we not just give that ship the other? No, okay, it's fine. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. No shit. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. Fine idea. We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. Auto targets. I can oh. scan the derelicts and see if Would any of know? them have intact plasma injectors. Yeah, just do it. Scan for the parts. Now we will take down those Klingon bastards. There we go. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. In the boneyard? Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the space bar to fire energy weapons. Holy shit, that's so cool. Okay, it doesn't shoot everything. Okay, this shoots everything, right? Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. Why is it not? Did it not shoot my torpedoes? 
fire all weapons. Uh, let's take items. I love that you can just. You have your problems. I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level one diagnostic. We don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp one. <laughs> It's not working right now. Sarva's dealing with the warp corp. Maybe it's, until she's it enables all the fire. Okay, cool. Out here with Thanks. No way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battle cruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers. Thank and you, they've man. pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. Cool. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Yeah, let me turn. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy. Ah, there's the enemy. Sorry, let's board them. I don't care about that. Let's go. Well, once we are in range, we'll go with... Uh, how is it called again? Our uh, torpedo high yield one. Uh, I need to be in... There we go. Ah, <laughs> okay, I like it. Okay, let's uh, nice let's not go shot. too fast. Two more jamming satellites left. No problems there. And of course, they had plenty of time to uh, to shoot to place those jamming satellites in there. Oh yeah, I've missed this. It's been such a fun. I've, I've played a lot of these. Uh, like anyone of you played Armada? Amala was such a cool guy. I haven't forgotten about you. I kind of hope you didn't. Can take a couple more hits. Okay, let's uh Long range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? I kind of want to do it myself, but apparently I need to. Oh, uh, oh yeah, we can also change these. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I oh. bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. Ooh. You might be able to use that to find them. Like hell, I want to do, bring back all my weapon systems. Like the battery is okay. We can always lower that to get a bit more power out of this. This battery, right? This speed, auxiliary. So we'll uh, we'll trade in. Let's take a look. Come on, give me any advice. Speed, balanced, shields, nah. Auxiliary, uh, engines. Um, you know, depends on what class. So currently, we 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 are a engineers. We're an engineer. Yes, I'm. I'm a smart engineer. I'm. I'm really. I'm Chekhov. Jesus. So, I, I'm not sure. Maybe we we'll want to have a bit more control of things. It's not worth it with a baby ship, but I, I might just get used to the fact that we can use it. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. No, no. Tell it Got to it. the others that died. I can died. trace the plasma signature dumb, right to the dumb source. Remark. Okay, here we go. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. Navigation! For those of you who have been watching my X4 series. Uh, let's make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. <clears throat> Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Oh. I can make your depth swift. Yeah, but I don't have to accept that, uh, that swiftness. Uh, the beam arc tutorial. Your ship is outfitted with phaser beam banks. These weapons have a 270 degree firing arc. This is a firing arc for the rear phaser bank. Firing at enemies within the open. Federation captains who prefer beam bank weapons favor the broadside technique and will often circle their target. Keeping yeah, uh, I, I would do the same thing. Let's go. Uh, shift R. Uh, for those of you who are playing this game, 
and are not Multiple yet part of any fleet, or so we are going to be making our own fleet. What am I doing? Uh, oh, this is awkward. Really awkward. I think I'm still very happy to have changed. I love the auto, uh, auto thing. Anyways, um, join us on Discord. And um, request the MMO role. And perhaps we'll, uh, we'll play uh, some of these team things together in the future. Go ahead and try. Come on, you bastard. Go away. It's, it's, it's quite awkward to get into... Maybe I should zoom in on my ship. No, that, that would even be more awkward. Let's get close to him. Zarva needs more time to get the plasma injectors installed. Try not to break anything else. I'll do my best. Oh, that's fine as well, man. I uh, unfortunately cannot do that at this moment in time. Because the game just won't let me. I believe I can do that with my numpad as well. Um, but by all means, uh, I'll take a look at what my in-game name is. I'm thinking you guys could add me. I think that might be uh, the way to go. Okay, let's get that torpedo in. On screen. This is Captain Nog of the USS Do you require assistance? Captain Nog. Oh, that is so damn. That is so good. Captain Nog. Well, I'll be damned. I'll, uh... Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory, even for Klingons. Where is Captain Taggart? Uh, yeah, okay. Only works when you've done the tutorial. Okay. Captain Taggart is dead. And did you follow his orders? Yes, we killed him. I see. And you're the acting captain. Yes, it were his orders. Right. Well done, cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. No, really. Set a course for Earth Space Dock. We'll get you back in one piece. Believe me, Cadet. If he comes back looking for a fight, he'll get one. In the meantime, set Where a course is he? for Earth. Where position. is this guy? Chimera out. Seriously. Chimera. Ooh, it's a shame we were so far away. Uh, let's take a look. Should be in here somewhere. Where can I find that? Oh, what's my name? Wait. Hi. It is daily fix at daily fix and then with a, a hashtag 62044. What a great name. What a great name. Information. The ship name is the daily. F oh, that's just awful. There you go. Okay, let's, uh, where do we need to go, by the way? I'm not paying attention whatsoever. Rendezvous with the Chimera. Okay, that, that's cool. I, I love how this, it, it feels so smooth. You know, steering is something I need to get used to. It feels really smooth. I will be uh, done with... I'm hoping to be done before 11, guys, because um, I need to pick up my wife then. Uh, we had some issues, unfortunately, at the start of the stream. Usually, I stream at 7 a.m. I was lagging out so badly. And it uh, appeared that I was having 
unrestricted FPS. So my computer was doing a good 360 FPS, which is not good. Yeah, let's wait. Let's start flipping. I tire of this. It's time to finish this fight. Yes, I agree. You go die now. Well, hey. you back to Earth Space Dock, but I need to inform the USS Kittimer that wait, hold on. My comms officer informs me that we're unable to contact the Kittimer. Not good. I'm going to the coordinates to see if they need help, and I want you to accompany me. Consider this a field promotion, cadet. Mm, yes. Just like that. Just like that. We got a field promotion and we got ourselves a engineering with emergency power to the shield. Did not want to do that. Emergency power to the shields. Let's go. Oh, this picture is so damn good. Communications breakdown. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead. Our orders... Set a course. Wait, did I not get stuff? What's the thing again? Um, wait, what? Oh, yeah, these are the regular things. That's fine. We don't have to do anything about that. Full power. Nobody cares about that. Let's go dead stop. We're not going to be hailing it. Let's see. There was a button that would allow me to... Wow. It's my ship. Look. Ah, here we go. Let's, uh... I think you should be over there. That's it. Uh, currently using... Okay, that's the same one. That's fine. Rip you. Some hyper sprays. Sword. I love that sword button. Sword is the best. There we go. Let's hail the ship. Uh, okay. Interesting. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. And you would have done it sooner if you didn't speak to me. What are you both doing here? Captain Jai Jin. I never heard of him. I'm in command of the Brabant. Captain Nork ordered me to come here to your location. Let the captain explain it. We weren't able to contact you earlier. We were escorting these cadets back to Earth's space dock after they were ambushed by Klingons. Under the circumstances, I thought it wise to investigate your situation here. I'm relieved to see both of you. The anomalies must be interfering with our communications. Where is Captain Taggart? He died. That's quite the story, Cadet. I'm sorry to hear about Captain Taggart. He was one of the best officers in Starfleet. Yet he gave got a <sighs> very, sure very tiny easy ship. For you and your crew. Don't worry. We'll have you back at Earth Space Dock before you know it. I like this white in this suit. I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. No anomalies, sir. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. Any questions? <laughs> You're quite confident for a cadet. You remind me a bit of myself when I was an ensign. Of course, I wasn't commanding a ship back then. Let's see how you perform before you start claiming that chair full Win time. some, lose some, sir. Win some, lose some. That's understood. Let's go. Where do we need to go? Let's move out into these very ominous looking clouds. Go away. I'm not... I don't care much about speed. Uh, we just want to make sure that we get in there. I have no clue what the hell I should be doing. Scan anomaly point A. Okay, never mind. That helps. Let's zoom out a bit. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation. Ah, that's... But there's something off in the readings. 
off in the readings. Oh, isn't this where the Borg comes in? Is that still a is that still a part of this? I love that. Kinemer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? Yes. I'm my chief science officer, Commander Davis, suggests that performing a reverse tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans and then report back. Yeah, they're going to get us killed. That's how it goes. Let the ensigns do it. Let the cadets do it. They, they're, they're, they're replaceable. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave. Yeah, we're going to be screwed here. Picking up a trans yeah, bro. Signature. Here we go. The it's Borg. Right on top of us. The Borg. Oh no, not the Borg. I will oh never lower my shields for you. Ha, ah, you missed. Let's get power to the shields. How many uh, are there? Just one. The Kinemar is under attack. Use full impulse. To reach her quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Activate full impulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. And there is the Chimera as well. Oh yeah, these ships are coming in. Let's go. Fire at will. Oh. Shields have failed. That's good. That's good. No need to warn me from that. Ooh, he looks so sweet. It is so loud. Okay. We'll have to lower some of the shooting because I don't appreciate you guys losing your hearing. This is the emergency medical hologram That's aboard good the USS right. Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. I think it's this one, the FX music. Effect powers, bits, loading screams, room tones, wildlife, windows and buttons, NPCs. Uh, ship computer voices. Yeah, I think it's this. Get it to 25 as well. Here you go. There you go. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Are you kidding me? You are a miracle. Captain Nork, some of them have activated the H M E the EMH. I love the EMH and Voyager is so good. Captain, you might have activated the EMH to alert us. The Borg haven't been seen in this quadrant in decades. This isn't a coincidence. Let's blow up the ship. We need more information. Collect data from all of the probes. All send teams to aid the Kittimer. I want you to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. And Cadet, if you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. The Borg can rattle veteran Starfleet officers, and you've already gone up against the Klingons today. It's just learning We're on scared. the job, sir. We all studied Admiral Janeway's Borg tactics, but no one thought we'd have to use them so soon. Prepare for I your know assimilation. We need to be ready for the day when we're <laughs> alone against the collective. We are Starfleet. The counselors are already working shields. with the crew. Do you want them to convey a message from you? Um, no. No, we wasted enough time. I've linked the iota point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. Let's go. Look, I, I, we're playing a Vulcan, guy, So uh, if we can pick less cheddar, I'll pick it. Uh, let's go with uh, impulse only. Get close. Hit F. Probably a new Borg ship coming in. Send us the data so we can begin our analysis. We 
We have your data, and our science team is analyzing it now. Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. Wow. Um, agreed. I Go. have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing You have to activate you. the emergency command hologram. That's the one, right, from, uh, from Voyager. Borg transwarp signatures detected. This is it. Get ready for combat. They're can firing. we see the entire map? Help. Okay, that's uh, that's that's a good amount of them. Oh, oh, he hit me, prick! Uh, let's get powdered from forward shields. Uh, okay. Ah, this is not bad. That one's gone. Okay, let's get the full torpedo spread over on this fella. There you go. Let's focus fire. We don't need to uh, do anything for the shields right now. Oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. That Crimera is a beast. More Borg. I don't know if we're ready More for this. Borg, sorry. Let's just keep shooting Borg for now. It's not like we have anything else to do. Let's get in a good range to go pew pew. Pew 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 pew. Yay. I can do this. Target shields have failed. Music to my ears. Now you go boom. Come on. Keep it together, cadet. We beat the board before, we can do it again. Get be what? I was in total emotional control here. You are Starfleet officers. You're prepared for this. Really? That's a transwarp. Multiple board warp signatures detected. Gate. Oh, I don't it's know. An impatient force. I don't know if I can do this. It's quite a few of them. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can. Yeah, we can do this. We are Starfleet cadets. The Borg are leaving. Most likely Why? for a more strategic target. Concentrate fire on the remaining sphere. Now. We can do this. I like that they added Nork into this. He's a bit of a prick. But, you know, he is, of course, a Ferengi. Is he the first Ferengi in Starfleet? Let's uh, flip to the left. There we go, two phaser beams. Direct hit. Good. Now give me loot. Here's how I see it. The Borg are using the Pollux system as a staging area. Our long-range sensors are picking up inbound transwarp signatures. Their most likely target is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it by surprise, they'll have a large population to turn into drones. Okay. Uh, what's the course of action? I want you to go to the Vega colony and warn them about the Borg. The Chimera is better equipped to hold off further Borg attacks and assist the Kinemar here. We'll do what we can to delay the Borg. Can you but just it's not to track you the room to towards the Vega, Vega system? Colonists. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Let's go. Because I believe after the Vega system, we'll actually head towards the space dock. Shields up, red alert. Yeah, good luck with that, bruh. 
you're going to get your ass kicked. You might want to get the hell out of there. That was sick. Why am I getting damaged? Okay. Interesting. Oh yeah, that's how it worked. Ooh, Vulcan system. Andorra. Binary patch. DSK7. Okay. Is this all of it? I remember it being larger. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this, okay, here we go. This is it. Yeah. That is so... Do that's good looking. I like it. Okay, so if I go to Starbase 24, or to, like, the Soul system, that's probably not going to help me. You need to warn the Vega colony about the Borg. Yeah, okay. We'll do what we can to hold off the Borg here get, uh, and repair the Kittimer. Yeah, let's continue. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Right. Okay, what is this? Tachyon beams. So, it does damage the uh, shields. And this is, yeah, evasive maneuvers. Uh, okay. Is that a plot over there? Um, how did I do this again? You? Yeah, you. You go there. This is torpedoes. And this is shields. Oh, oh, cancel that. This is not shields. Why do I have this? What is this? Science console. Never mind, it's down here. Sure, let's take it. And I got my normal rifle over there. And we're now in high warp, guys. In high warp we are. Going to the Vega system. We can't... We cannot let them destroy the Vega system. There's a beautiful base. It's just mad. Just get all of them. Maybe he'll fly a bit faster. There we go. Enable astromedics. Ooh. Let's go. Tutorial mission two. Can we do this in 30 minutes? Doubtful. Doubtful. We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. Well, your what heart are your wasn't orders, beating. Captain? How? Tavrell managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her through now. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I could do for you today? Yes, the Borg are on the way, you die. Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you say the Borg? What about the Borg are on the way, you're gonna die. Never listen. I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Okay. Let's go. Let's go! Oh, yeah, Our I see what it is. Our are saw. still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your oh, orders, sir. She's talking like a computer. Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I hurry up. I the, think the Borg I will be on the uh, any game. seconds. Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Jesus Captain. Jesus Christ, no. The Borg are here. Go with the Tachyon beam. Full spread and uh, that damn torpedo thing. Those Whoa. civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We That's one. That them. was easy. That was so easy. I like it. I appreciate that. I like the Tachyon Beam. 
There you go. A few more probes. Get the tachyon beam up. And then we go with a uh, another spread of torpedoes. That is a lot of damage. Get closer. There is the uh, the SSS Horizon. Let's go. Okay, tachyon beam. Oh, this is such a. I should have gone with science if that is what they do. The damn. That is no joke. Any of you playing as a science guy? Maybe. Okay, let's uh, let's shoot those torpedoes. It's an easy fight though. Captain, I have short range communications. Long range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. Uh we'll stay here. If I if I if it Borg if it's up to me. Detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. Let's go. I believe I can send a message to those ships. Yeah, that's a possibility. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Go with the Tekken beam again. So damn powerful. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. Go with high maneuverability. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Yeah, good for them. That's fine, we don't need torpedoes for that. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, flip around. Oh. Ooh, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? You ain't going nowhere. You disgust them. This one Miranda class is taking on the full force of the Borg. Who needs the Enterprise? Can't even beat a single cube. What the hell is that? Okay, next stop. Last one. Tachyon Beam. Oh, that was so easy. Condition Red Alert. Lieutenant Second Class. Is there anything we need to do? Like new... Captain, Ooh, what the, the hell is landed, this? And the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. Okay, let's go. Yeah, go. Like I said, I'm Vulcan. I don't care how much. So we we just run in. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated already? by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. Jesus and if Christ. that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. No, sir. I'll follow your lead. Okay. Already half the planet. That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. That is absolutely smart. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's rush him. No, no, I didn't want to do that. Uh, we need to flip this. Uh, you go here. You go there. Because I keep... Pr oh, never mind. I can right-click those as well. That is so cool. Okay. Uh. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. Oh, give me that. Oh, we are in the in the crates. 
Give me a battle deck armor. Let's take a look. What's the difference? Uh, what do we have here? 10 kinetic, 10 kinetic. They're both the same. Uh, go with battle. Then with floris. Battle. Give you the uh, sniper rifle. You got a personal shield. Oh, I have as well. Never mind. Can we dual wield these uh, phases? That would be cool. Let's open the gates. Let's flood them out. Oh no. We're too late. No. Oh no. She's a drone now. She completely transformed immediately. Wow, that was some difficult shot, man. That was amazing. I never knew that I could do that. I'll be very honest. I never knew I was able to do it. Wait, these guys are survivors? You gotta be kidding me. Ah, uh, we better save him. Sorry, shoot him. Oh no, they're starting to uh, get very familiar with my weapon, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking out of my ass. Okay, let's beam these guys up as well. Civilian beam out. Oh, no you don't. How many survivors do we need? Uh, apparently three. This, this is the second group. We have the civilians. There is still no sign of the Renown or the Kittimer, sir. Some of these drones are really weak. That's a good thing. Uh, teleport thingy. I just I casually awaiting. I putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. Oh no, and What's you the are situation? the most important you... person in this entire colony, aren't you? I apologize for Cole. I see. Then it's true. Vega is doomed. Not Vega! The starship cannot hope to stop this. Still... Yeah, great. Uh, assist the colony. Retrieve the kit from the crates. Engineering kit module. So interesting. These are new. Mines. Stubborn. Interesting. CPR. Medical. Do something like this. We have lowered shields for the transporter, sir. I will need to raise them at the first sign of Borg ships. The pattern enhancers are working, and not a moment too soon. I can hear the Borg moving this way. You can hear the Borg. Are, are you already assimilated? I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg? Ah, uh, five seconds. Remember when we thought fighting a crazed Klingon was the worst thing that could happen today? Yeah, just put some mines around us. We what could possibly go wrong? Civilians. Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain.
bombs away. Answer the hail from your ship. Okay. So let's wait until we get a hail. There we go. Shields are back up, sir. But more board vessels are warping to our location. We have detected a type of generator near your position. There is a 94.6% chance it is the device affecting our transporters. If you can destroy it, we will transport as many people from the area as we are able. All right. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the board take it without a fight. Yeah, you spoke right, well, Coles, the fish boy. You're gonna see friends who've been assimilated. I know the drill. Just never expected any Borg here, you know. Regroup bridge officers. That's an interesting. Request reinforcements. Uh, cool. So, I would assume that we have to go through that door, considering there is uh, something beamingly yellow. Uh, I think there's some Borg trying to go through the door here as well. Let's open it up, because that is what you do. Yeah, that's easy. that one we played poker last night <laughs> yeah it sucks man there you go let's shoot the cute one such a waste such a waste ah oh, there's we the need thing. to disable that force field oh he has a Freakishly cool arm! Look at that! Inhibitor. Holy shit! What is that? A machine gun? We need to disable that force field. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me control. Start on the left. Uh, maybe the not. Maybe so start on the right. The word. Effective. Systematic. Evil. I'm ah, we're evil. evil. Come on, walk into my minds. Walk into my minds. You way too slow. Yeah, let's get this thing. Pretty obvious we had to go there. We are the board. No, you were the board. Uh, you almost died, dude. <laughs> What's he taking out? Yeah, zero one. By a grenade. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain. But we don't have much time. Let's go. Let's go. This tutorial, man, it's fun. It's so We're far the best to the tutorial ever. Civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Well, let's go. Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. I believe we don't even have to stop. When this thing comes in, he will actually uh, make sure we stop in time. Multiple probes inbound. Oh, Battle yes. The Borg like us hanging around. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. Thanks, game. Stating the obvious. Target shields have failed. Let's uh, make sure that we get two of our phaser cannons. Uh, apparently we got a, uh, a rank or something. Uh, holding the line. Uh, we can hold some line. Not too many of them though. 
It seems very ominous. Okay, let's uh, get more power to the shields. Let's go face forward. Let's get those torpedoes out. There you go, that's what we do. Speed up. Tekken Ray. I like that you actually get damaged from an exploding vessel near you. I think I wasn't shooting now, was I? You get damaged. Yeah, I like that. I really, I think it's amazing. I think it's uh, well thought of. Like, there was a time uh, when I, I, I just finished my um, X4 Foundation campaign. And when you... Before previous updates, you did not get any damage if um, if a ship exploded near you. And I still, I think the damage is pretty minimal right now. Like a bit of shield damage, you know, it's not that important. But I like that they added that right now. It feels, you know, you need to be Never paying a bit more attention. The there we go. Studying for the astrometrics final. Let's go engage this sphere. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. Really? It doesn't really sound like adaption. More like, you know, you will listen to me or we kill you. Okay, come on. Full spread. Get more shield power. Get some more maneuver. I swear, sometimes it seems like there's a bit of a, a, a tube shadow in it. Tekken beam, torpedoes, let's go. That Sir, should be it. there are several fast-moving ships on sensors. No way to contact them, and I can't tell if they're friend or foe. Let's go. They're probably friendly. Let's go straight forward. Exploding cubes will kill you. Oh, that is amazing. That's good to know. That's, that's, that's solid advice. Stay away from cubes. Solid advice, I like it. No anomalies. Are it's hunting anomalies? Oh damn! A cube? She really is stating the obvious, isn't she? Yeah, let's go out. There we just five cubes. We can do it. There is the uh, the Starfleet Armada. Okay, I want to be uh, a bit further away then, if you say it's so dangerous. Great work! Now, let's finish this! Uh, entrenched engineering, I agree. Slow down. Flip the ship. There you go, just, just start shooting from this angle. You got nothing on me, man. You got nothing. Let's get Tachyon in there. Yeah, four kilometers is that far away enough? Kind of hope so. And spread those torpedoes out there. Why are you shooting that one as well? Just shoot over there. Flim? What the hell is that? What the hell is a flim? Move backwards. Uh, it seems like I didn't get too much damage. Oh well, never mind. These, uh, they have a bit of damage. And sent a signal out to There's a few more Borgs, These mate. These were the closest ships. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. You've been doing a great job so far. Reconfiguring the satellites into warning beacons was excellent thinking, by the way. We received the signal as soon as we arrived in the system. That's going to save a lot of lives. Now give me your ship. It's an option for sure. Right now, I need you to protect the civilians you have on board and ensure the safety of your crew. Damn it. The will return to Earth Damn Space Dock with you. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He'll have more information for you. You and your crew have done well. Colas will make a fine addition to your senior staff. 
Seriously? You just, just started to handing out, you know, whatever. Congratulations. We need to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. There's some missions where you are inside. Really? Cool. Let's uh let's warp to the uh to the uh to earth and just see what the hell I need to do to finish this tutorial. I'm hoping that it is done right now, right? Probably have to talk to some commander or so. I've got five more minutes. This kinda sucks. Okay, this uh got more advertisement over the years. That's the same, the fat dwarf as well. There is the uh, evil admiral, if, uh, if memory serves me correctly. I believe that he was evil. Now, where the hell do I need to go? Over here. Oh, follow the blue line. Is, is that ha happening right now? Is that possible right now? Let's take a look. I can see it talking. Discord. Copy. Nope. <clears throat> Not there yet. Three more minutes. Can we make it? I will go over the rest later. Like, not right now. We'll talk to this fella and I need to end it. Uh, tomorrow, without... We... Uh, without having any FPS issues. It's going to be great. Admiral Quinn, you trill bastard. Daily is reporting, man. We have a lot to discuss, Cadet. Yes, sir. Yes, I see that here in the report transmitted by Captain Nog. He granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask Taggart, correct? Yeah, well, he Acting died. First officer? Mm-hmm. I've read the reports. Facing off against Klingon raiders and a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? Very unusual. In your own words, Tell me what happened out there. He died. <laughs> That's quite the story. I know. Don't worry. I have statements here from Captains Nog and Yim and Administrator Post from Vega Colony corroborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way <sighs> to preserve the lives of others. That's what we do. We're goody goods. Oh, wait, we always eight more followers to 400. That is amazing. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know. I know, I know you've been waiting for me to pick up the game again. But I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Yeah, as a lieutenant. Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. I won't. You will be assigned to the Klingon front, but first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. I agree. I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps. That's great. Okay, well, we'll worry about it later. Should be uh, able to get people now. Let's take a look, if I can. We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major... Except... Don't know if I have to take all of them, but that's fine. Is this still the tutorial? Are we still in the tutorial right now? Okay, so uh, apparently it's it's not enough. 
Uh, what was the hashtag? Uh, information. Uh, what? Oh, wait again. Um, yo. Uh, hashtag 62044. Well, I'm going to be posting it on Discord as well. For those of you who want to join, it is daily fix at daily fix hashtag. I've, I've got a friend request, which is good. 62044. Accept. Uh, I got another friend request. How do I find these? Uh, you have accepted. Okay. Uh, this is yeah, the same one. Okay. So we're on the friend list now, mate. Thank you. Uh, but that said, I do need to go. Thank you for the uh, friend request. Don't forget, guys, if you want to play with me in the future, then uh, join me on Discord. And um, now, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate all of you. I know there's a good few of you watching. Uh, we're getting close to 400, which is, uh, it is amazing. Absolutely perfect. Tomorrow, I will be back at 7 a.m., Till this time, without lag, so I don't waste two and a half hours doing absolutely nothing. And we'll go and continue more of this game, which I'm happy to be back at. Thank you all for being here, and I'll see you next time. Let's get a bit of rating target. And none of my friends. Thank you so much, uh, MacWolfCat1, for the follow. And, uh, yeah. Well, uh, let's see. Is anyone playing the game? Star Trek S S S T O S T O Star Trek S S S T O. Oh, that's so horrible! I can hear myself. Oh, that's so horrible. Star Trek Online. Ah, uh, no, we're not doing that shit. Uh, Klingon storyline, but bizarre. Whatever. It must be great. I keep getting unknown user. Strange. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, well, I copy-paste that. Is it daily, daily fix? No, it's daily fix. I need to change, add this. Edit message. Daily fix. Copy. There you go, guys. That should be the name. I will see that tomorrow, unfortunately, because I don't think I will have plenty more time to get in there. And those are some glorious icons, man. Cardassians. We got Elm Goof. Ah, uh, McWolf. Interesting, man. Way to go. Uh, let me uh, let get the raid started here. That is definitely not the one that I wanted. Damn it. Damn it. There you go. Star Trek Online, guys. Have a great, have a great time. Thank you. And I'll, uh, I'll see you more tomorrow, I hope. Bye-bye.